Hi everyone, welcome to another video. What I think whenever I see a big gut, that dreaded big belly, especially in a male. Big guts are absolutely everywhere these days, they have become ubiquitous. A hundred or so years ago, it was very rare, as I shared with you in a recent video for men to have a big gut, and this is highly dangerous visceral fat that accumulates in the midsection of men. And if you have a big gut, it is time to think very carefully about this, because modern mainstream society, which wants to profit off you, has normalized this condition in millions of men. It used to be men over the age of 50 mainly, but now it's happening at a younger and younger age. And it is the truth, the cold hard truth, that if your ancestors were to see you now, or many millions of people who have this big gut, they would be absolutely shocked it was not normalized a few decades ago. And it's unfortunate fortunate because in modern mainstream culture with our busy life surrounded by a toxic food environment, many men lose control of their health. They are so so busy, this is a big group of people that I work with to try to reverse this condition in a natural holistic way, so that you're not carrying around this excess health risk. Remember, I repeat, there is nothing normal about a big gut. It comes with enormous health risks. And here's what I think whenever I see a big gut, particularly in a male. Obviously, I don't say this out loud, but as a doctor, I want people to be healthy. I want them to be well. I don't want them to have health risks which are reversible. So here's what I think whenever I see that dreaded big belly in a man. Number one, you are inflamed. This is not only a cosmetic issue, but if you have a big gut, it is highly likely that you are walking around in a permanent state of inflammation. Because all that visceral fat releases inflammatory molecules, of which there are many, including tumor necrosis factor, TNF-alpha, interleukin-6, interleukin-1, monocyte chemoattractant protein, resistin, leptin, adiponectin, plasminogen activator inhibitor. All of these inflammatory molecules are floating around within your body. And what will happen if you are inflamed? Lo and behold, all that inflammation will significantly increase the risk of many other diseases developing. It is not in your best interest to be inflamed. Whatever you can do to reverse this is well worth doing. Number two, you are almost certainly insulin resistant if you're walking around with a big gut. It's taken years for this insulin resistance to develop as it has for the big gut to develop. And the problem with insulin resistance is that it is the true pandemic out there. Not enough doctors have been taught to think about this, but insulin resistance is the key driver of most common chronic diseases these days. Whether we're talking about high blood pressure, high cholesterol, they are driven by insulin resistance. In fact, if you are below a certain age and you get high blood pressure or high cholesterol, it is an almost certainty that you have insulin resistance. And if you reverse your big gut, you will reverse your insulin resistance. It is that simple. How do you know if you have insulin resistance? Because it doesn't always show up on the routine blood tests like HbA1c and fasting glucose. When we test for prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, but there is a blood test which I've talked about before and made videos about called HOMA IR. So what you want to do is get a fasting glucose and fasting insulin, and you can put these numbers into an online calculator and you can calculate your HOMA IR. Most doctors out there, I'd say probably over 90%, don't even know about HOMA IR, but it's a very good blood test and it can help address insulin resistance and anyone who wants to can reverse this in a matter of weeks. Completely naturally without any toxic medicines which come with a whole host of side effects. Number three, poorer mental health. The medical establishment doesn't want to talk about this, because why talk about this? Why think about root causes when there are profitable pills and injections to push? But there is an intrinsic link that has been proven in multiple research studies between having excess body fat, all of these inflammatory molecules floating around in you, and many mental health issues, whether it's stress, anxiety, depression, other mental health issues. So if you want to beat those, if you want to think more clearly and have more energy, then it is in your best interest to naturally reverse your excess body fat and reduce your big gut. So I really do urge you, if this is a problem for you, to take some natural steps. Of course it takes motivation, 
but life is short. Why walk around with this excess health risk? The medical establishment is not going to save you. The best thing you can do is adopt natural holistic strategies to reverse this. Number one, primarily focusing on your diet. That is 80% of the battle. I call it the low insulin anti-inflammatory diet that will help to reverse your big gut. Keep your insulin levels naturally as low as possible. That's why many different strategies from cutting out carbohydrates, sugars, ultra processed foods and time restricted eating work because they keep your insulin levels naturally low. Insulin is the anabolic hormone implicated in weight gain. And if your insulin levels keep on spiking, then it's almost impossible to lose weight. Insulin is the fat storage hormone. Number two, you do need to be operating at a calorie deficit to lose weight. It's a simple law of thermodynamics. Obviously, you should be eating real clean food, but at the end of the day, you have to have a calorie deficit, and this does not need to be extreme and can be done very naturally. I know the medical establishment now is promoting these injections, which come with a whole host of toxic side effects, which basically force you to stop eating. Imagine living in a time where the medical establishment, according to the mainstream media, is baffled that when you give people a powerful injection and it results in them reducing their calorie intake and not eating crap all day, then health benefits result. Of course they do, but you can do this naturally without the injection. And you can do so in a very sustainable, fun way. Remember, the food corporations have deliberately made highly addictive food, so you need to get yourself away from that first and foremost. And number three, always remember that this is a holistic lifestyle approach which has to be sustainable. Diet is 80%, but you must work on everything else. Whether it's exercise, predominantly focus on muscle strengthening, you don't need to do a ton of cardio. Working on any stress in your life, stress management is ever so important to keep your cortisol levels low. And also get enough sleep. If you're not getting enough restful, consistent sleep, then losing that big gut is very, very difficult. So please do remember, if this is a problem for you, if you have a big gut, especially if you are a man, because it represents dangerous visceral fat, then take some steps. Make this a priority. You do not have to accept the modern mainstream way of living, which is to accept this as inevitable. Accept this as a dad bod, which is a terrible term, by the way. You can do something about this. You can naturally reverse it. Remember, future generations will be looking at pictures of you. What do you want them to see? Someone who looks really unhealthy or someone who looks vigorous and a role model of health. That is on you. You are in charge. You can do this. Thanks everyone for watching. If you are a man who would like to work with me more closely on solving this problem in your life in a natural, holistic, sustainable and fun way, check out the link down below. The links to my website and my other programs are also down below as well. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will speak again very soon.